30 seconds of air, Mr. Burns. Now remember to smile. I am smiling. You'll have to do better than that. <sighs> How's this? There you go. I'm going to be sore tomorrow. Well, we've done all we can, Mr. Burns. The rest is up to you. Oh, don't worry. By the time this paid political announcement is done, every Johnny lunch pail in this whole stupid state will be eating out of my hand. Oh, hello, friends. I'm Montgomery Burns, your next governor. And I'm here to talk to you about my little friend here, Blinky. Many of you consider him to be a hideous genetic mutation. Well, <laughs> nothing could be further from the truth. But don't take my word for it. Let's ask an actor portraying Charles Darwin what he thinks. Hello, Mr. Burns. Oh, hello, Charles. Uh, be a good fellow and tell our viewers about your theory of natural selection. Glad to, Mr. Burns. You see, every so often Mother Nature changes her animals, giving them bigger teeth, sharper claws, longer legs, or, in this case, a third eye. And if these variations turn out to be an improvement, the new animals thrive and multiply and spread across the face of the earth. So you're saying this fish might have an advantage over other fish. It may in fact be a kind of super fish. I wouldn't mind having a third eye, would you? <laughs> no. You see, friends, if our anti-nuclear naysayers and choose-up ciders were to come upon an elephant frolicking in the waters next to our nuclear power plant, they'd probably blame his ridiculous nose on the nuclear your boogeyman. The truth is, this fish is a miracle of nature, with a taste that can't be beat. Mm -mm. So, to summarize, say what you want about me. I can take the slings and arrows, but stop slandering poor defenseless Blinky. Good night, and God bless. Only a moron wouldn't cast his boat on the Wow, superfish! I wish the government would get off his back. That burns is just what this state needs. Young blood.